Hi guys, this hacker rank challenge is called cats and the mouse, and it's under the implementation section under the algorithms section. So here we assume that we have two cats and one mouse, and we want to find out which one of the cats is going to catch the mouse first. So essentially we want to compute which cat is further away or closer to the mouse. So let's say cat A is closer to the mouse, then we're going to return cat A as a string. Otherwise, if it's cat B, then we're going to return cat B as a string. But if their respective distances from the mouse are the same, then we want to return mouse C. In this case, uh, we return mouse C because we assume that both cats are going to reach the mouse at the same time and they're going to fight, so the mouse is going to get away. It's a strange uh, coding challenge, I have to say, but it's still fun all the same. So here we're going to get a function called cat and mouse. It returns a string, and I've added this ampersand symbol to pass the, uh, the parameters by reference. What we need to do is check the distance between x and z, and then between y and z. So the first thing we can have is a simple if statement. And we can check if z minus x is lower than z minus y. Then we return cat a. We are verifying if the distance between x and z is lower than the distance between y and z. And if it is, then we return cat a because cat a is closer to the mouse. But this is not entirely correct because we can have um, a negative number, a negative integer when we deduct x from z. So we need to make sure that we use ABS to get the absolute difference here. Now I want to check else if the distance between x and z is in fact greater than the distance between z and y, then it means cat b is going to reach the mouse first because its distance is smaller to z than the distance from x to z, which is the distance of cat a. So I'm going to return cat B here. Otherwise, I'm just going to return mouse C as a string. So that should be it for the entire code, right? So we pass test case zero, let's submit. We have only two test cases, but both of them should pass fine. Anyway, that's it for this coding challenge. If you guys like this, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, drop your questions in the comment section, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.